بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ٹاپک از بیئرنگ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو کنکلوڈ دس ٹاپک ان ٹو فور پارٹس ان شاء اللہ دس از بیئرنگ پارٹ ون ان دس پارٹ وی ایل ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا ڈیفینیشنز آف بیئرنگ اینڈ دا بیسک کانسیپٹس نا لیٹ از بیگن دا بیئرنگ آف اے پوائنٹ پی فرام این ادر پوائنٹ او از این اینگل میجرڈ فرام نارتھ ایٹ او ان اے کلاک وائز ڈائریکشن اینڈ اٹ از آلویز ریٹرن ایز دا ایز اے تھری ڈیجٹ نمبر Now from the definition these three points must be remembered that it is an angle measure from north it mean uh, with the uh, reference of north you are going to measure the angle in clockwise direction and it it, it is always written in three digits now if the north is here then obviously against north we have south and west and east also now as far the north is concerned the bearing of north is taken as 000 or 360 Now, if we are talking about east, then the bearing of east from north is 90 degree and then bearing of south from north is taken as 180 and then bearing of west from north is 270 and then again, if we are going to take the bearing of north from north, so complete rotation you have to take, which is 360 degree. So bearing uh, of north. east south west and north i have told you now let us consider a point p which you can see is lying in this quadrant we have to find out the bearing of point p if the bearing is not given then obviously you have to measure with the help of the protractor the angle rotated from north till the line joining o and p So first of all you have to draw a line which is joining O and P I am drawing this line which is joining O and P now you have to measure the angle this angle is required to be measured with the help of the protractor I am going to measure this angle so this is angle almost 53 degree so this angle suppose it is roughly 53 degree so the bearing of P from O in the clockwise direction is 053 degree okay so bearing must be written in three digits now let us consider there is another point a you have to join o and a if it is not joined suppose this angle i am taking suppose this angle is 30 degree now you have to find out the bearing of a from o how we are going to find out we have to take this complete rotation starting from north till this line joining o and a this angle as i told you that the bearing of east from north is 90 degree and in addition to 90 we have to add this 30 degree so 90 plus 30 is equal to 120 degree this is the bearing of a from o now if there is another point b lying here as you can see again if this angle which is made this angle suppose this angle is 60 degree now you have to find out the bearing of b from o then you have to measure complete angle starting from north till the line joining o and b so this complete angle is required as i told you earlier that the bearing of south from north is 180 so 180 plus 60 degree 180 degree plus 60 degree this is equal to 240 degree take another point in the third in the fourth quadrant suppose again uh, you have to join this line line o and c and suppose this is 40 degree angle now you have to calculate the angle starting from north and till the line joining o and c this is the line joining o and c you have to take this come this rotation till this line okay as i told you that the bearing of west from north is 270 now 270 plus 40 270 40 degree the total is 310 degree now i hope this basic concept of bearing is uh, clear to you now in the in the second part inshallah i'll explain you the further concepts of bearing thank you so much allah hafiz and for the questions you can ask me in the comment section